Behind me is one of the cheapest 40 foot diesel pushers on the market. Just thought I'd call and wish you good night. I left my key under the mat. Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RVing, the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below and make sure to hit that notification bell. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. So, as I said before, this is one of the cheapest diesel pushers on the market, over 40 feet. This is 41 feet, one inches, okay? Quad slide diesel pusher motorhome. We're gonna do a walkthrough walk around i'm going to do the outside mj is going to do the inside and we're just going to point out a few key features that we think are pretty awesome for something of this price so make sure you stay to the end when we tell you what the asking price is for this motorhome so i'm going to put the link to uh, coachman's website for this specific motorhome so you can see all the specs you have the bus style mirrors up front which are really nice you have integrated cameras which are pretty awesome i also like the uh, the front grille it's very clean you have the sport coach emblem that lights up at night which is really nice as well as fog lamps and led uh, fog lights underneath which are really nice so this is on a freight line a raised rail chassis okay it has the cummins uh, 360 horsepower motor 360 horsepower, 800 pounds of torque, okay? So the raised rail is gonna give you more pass-through storage, which is another thing that's really nice here. You have good pass-through storage. All right, what's also nice, full body paint, okay? Uh, also, you have slide toppers as well as awnings, and you have a awning that goes over the entry door, which is pretty awesome. Other features in higher-end motorhomes, you have an outside entertainment center with television, as well as frameless windows. All right, coming to the rear, you have a, a one-piece molded rear cap. This is a rear-mounted radiator. It's not side-mounted. That's usually held for stuff that's way more expensive. You do have a rear ladder that gives you full access to the roof, and uh, also you have have the hitch is rated for 10,000 pounds of towing. So continuing down the driver's side, you have two other slides, right? Both those slides have slide toppers. Also on the rear, I didn't mention, there is a integrated rear view camera. All right, over here in the wet bay, everything's centrally located, okay? You have your uh, cable hookup. You're also gonna have your uh, black tank flush, your city connection, or wherever you're gonna fill your uh, tanks. It's all gonna be over here, along with an outdoor shower, and you have a water filter in here. So all the full features you're gonna have in the much more expensive diesel pusher you have on this coach. Okay, also guys, this is a propane power coach. So in the bay with the propane, you're also gonna have your four house batteries and two chassis batteries. Finally, up front, you're gonna have your uh, generator uh, right up front. It's gonna be an Onan. I don't know what it is because I can't see it. It's probably gonna be at least 7,500 uh, watts, if not more. Just some specs, okay? 41 feet, one inches in length. Uh, it's a gross vehicle weight, 32,000 pounds. You have 89 gallon fresh, 52 gray, 52 black, 22 and a half inch tires, okay? And you have 100 gallon diesel fuel capacity. Hey guys, welcome to our 90 degree pit, 95 degrees probably. All right, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the inside. Props first to Matt and Andrea. I don't know how you guys do this in 100 degree weather in Florida every day, but good job. So we're gonna start, as Izzy said, we're on the Freightliner chassis. You got your info screen, you've got cup holders here, nice uh, dual charging center, all right? All your controls, electrical dashboard, which is nice, I like that. Um, and then over here on the side, here's all your electronic leveling controls and, uh, you know, your gen start and all that good stuff. The seats, they're very comfortable, actually. They're really nice, really nice. All right, a lot of storage. There's four things of storage right here, okay, which are nice. Let's move down um, at, real quick. We'll thank Jason, our lighting uh, director Hello. over here. <laughs> Jason's lighting everybody up today. Yes, yeah, because up. it's not lit up. Uh, no carpet. So Izzy loves that, all right? There's a lot of sleeping space in this area. So in the living area, you're gonna have your two recliners. You got a couch, which is a tri-fold, which is nice. Then we also, over here, are gonna have uh, your dining area, which also is gonna fold into a bed. So you're already looking at at least eight sleeping for this. And you okay? got the bunk up above, too. Oh, yes, I forgot about that. Yeah, two, four, six, and then the bed. So you have that drop-down bunk up there. Nice uh, Jensen TV right here. We've got solid service countertops on the table and in the kitchen as well. One of my favorite things, fireplace. There's a nice fireplace. Jason, scoot back. Back up, lighting boy. Okay, 
Jason, come over here. So nice fireplace. I love that. All right. A lot of storage. The woodwork is really nice, actually. It's not really flimsy. Okay, for the price range this is, it's 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 kind of. Sturdy. We found that on the Coachman trailer too. They were really yeah, nice. Yeah. And then you have all this over the living area. Four of them right down, down the way, and they're deep too. So and you, you got, got the hidden the hidden hinges also, which are nice. Yeah. Nice woodwork, and this is kind of nice too. There's a little detail on the ceiling. All right, let's move into the kitchen. All right, kitchen area. We got nice again solid surface countertops. There's a tile backsplash, which is really nice. Your sink, nice and deep. Okay, farm style. I like this kind of a faucet too. A lot of storage again for your food. All right, so if you eat like Izzy, you have a lot of place to keep your food. Um, induction cooktop. All right. A nice size microwave. Oh, and convection. Convection oven, which we love on ours. All right, there's no dishwasher. If that's something you're looking for, this model doesn't have it. You got your residential refrigerator and free. This is nice. Nice, a lot of space in here. All right, here's all your controls, guys. Your inverter, generator, auto gen start, which is nice. Okay, nicely hidden. It comes with Wi-Fi Ranger as well. Which is useless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Watch our internet videos. We'll link those right up here. This is a, it's a dual entry, so from the master bath as well. You have in the uh, shower, you have a nice um, seat, okay? It's a roomy shower too, it's tall as well. Double sinks, love that, which we don't have, I wish we did. Um, a nice uh, double medicine cabinet there, so a lot of space. Matt, you'd probably approve. This is a prime pooping position, okay? I mean, I wouldn't poop sideways, but this is good. You've got a lot of room to move around in here. All right, bedroom, right? We've got an another Jensen TV. There's a lot of closet space. We have three closets, okay? One, two, and we'll get, we'll get some uh, video of that. All right, deep hanging closets. Yes, I know, which Izzy says I always steal, so there would be plenty for me. Um, you got your washer dryer in here, okay, with storage underneath, more drawers underneath. Underneath the TV, which I didn't say, that's not closing, I'm not going to break that. Um, here's a, lot, a bunch of drawers as well. These are smaller drawers, but good for clothes, of course, just not too deep. King size bed, over the bed storage, which is nice, the, I like this. That's a, an attractive uh, headboard. <laughs> also, guys, no carpet. Izzy loves it. There's not one piece of carpet in this whole coach, which is nice. Again, again, surrounded by all the really nice woodwork. All right, and headed out of the bedroom, you have a nice sliding door. That's attractive. That's really nice. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that tour. Listen, this is a lot of coach for the money. They're asking 212, I believe 908 at Lazy Days in Knoxville. If you know anybody that owns a sports coach, uh, the coachman, let us know in the comments below how reliable are these things. I, I haven't, I see them, but I don't really know, haven't read up too much on them. To the left of me, I'm gonna put our RV DIYs as well as our other RV walkthrough tours. And for myself, MJ and Jason, who was on the lights today in this super hot weather, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road. Would you come over?